Hello everyone and welcome back to my tutorial. And today we will talk about the twin motion. Yes, you are asking me about the twin motion and I'm gonna show you how it's working. We will start from the, some simple things. So as you can see right now on your screen, uh, I have here some model I already showed you in the previous video with the twin motion. You can check it uh, in my channel, the previous video one. But we will use this model, as you can see he has no any texture. I will go to, for example, to realistic view and you will see he has no any texture, only the glass and some default texture. So this is a challenge for us and I will transfer everything to the twin motion. We will see how it's working, we will change some, uh, some settings. So we will work together with twin motion and Revit. And I will show you how you can use it in your own project. So let's get started. As you know, I'm using this building, uh, I'm using the Revit 2020 and I will use also the twin motion, the sync with between twin motion and the Revit. Uh, you can download this application from the Autodesk App Store or you can go to the directly to the 3D and just export like FBX, let's say like FBX, you can use the any formats like DWG or even the DAE or SAT uh, format files. So it's only up to you. To make your life more easy, I am highly recommend you using the uh, Twinmotion application for the Revit or Archicad, this is, doesn't matter about the type of the BIM, pro BIM program. So, uh, once you already finish your model, you want to transfer it to the twin motion. Let's open up twin motion and you will see this screen. Here is nothing as you can see, only the plane and some background. And we will start to prepare our work to the twin motion. So, if you are exporting your model like FBX file, you should go to the twin motion and just click here to the import and import your model, just find it and import it. So this is not a big problem, I think. If you're using, like me, uh, using the some application from the Twinmotion, uh, you just need to make some settings here, just apply it and see in Twinmotion, that's it. So we will start from the settings. Let's see what choices we have. Exporting beam data. So uh, exporting beam data, it means uh, all single pieces so in Revit we have the data like the, for example the length, thickness, like uh, the type of the material, so this is beam data. So if you want to see it in uh, Twinmotion you can just export this data. Yes I want to see it, uh, after that uh, use Twinmotion materials. So uh, Twinmotion will try automatically understand what the type of the material uh, Twinmotion should apply. So if you will uh, switch on Twinmotion will will automatically replace the materials from the Revit to the Twinmotion. I will say, yeah, I wanna replace it. The same thing with the used Twinmotion objects. For example, if I will put here some the trees, Twinmotion will understand here the trees and will transfer to the Twinmotion models, not from the Revit models. Okay, and of course I will, I want to optimize my model. Maybe I have some of the clash detectives here or maybe some problems with texture, that's why I will say yes, optimize my model. Exclude MAP families, so if you are um, uh, want, uh, for example, export your MAP, uh, so you should take care about this uh, button. The fixy UI texture, so UI texture it means uh, if we are using not just standard texture, for example, uh, just check it out what is it, what does mean UI, UV, and you will understand what I mean. So always, uh, I think always it should be on, because sometimes it's getting the problem. And exclude objects smaller than, for example, you have some smaller object where you cannot see it, or maybe you get model from them, I don't know, some other program like IFC model or something else, and they can be like some smaller objects or you're making like uh, scanning of your building. Uh, so uh, that, that things help you like exclude it, uh, for example, like so smaller objects to, for, to the twin motion. So everything here, all right, I need just care about the collapse. So as you can see here, collapse none. I want to collapse, collapse actually by material, but as you understand here I have only two materials, default and glass. So this is not my way for now and uh, I cannot collapse by family because uh, family like door have like different materials like the, for example uh, plastics, uh, wood, uh, maybe some mm, maybe some steel and glass so I cannot make it like one material. So I will say none. 
and I'll say as default and after that I'll just click on the C in Twin Motion. Now we will give the time to the uh, Revit and Twin Motion as you can see everything right now and you have now option you wanna uh, import it to existing project or you want to create a new project. I'm okay I will create a new project because uh, I didn't change here anything I can export it inside so this is only up to you I prefer create new project and directly sync with the my model just give the time and we will back so we finish uh, exporting already finished here is our building as you can see uh, it's a bit far from our zero point yes of course because uh, I starting to draw not on the zero coordinate so not uh, uh, not original coordinate so let's fly to the our building uh, this is actually we can fly a lot of the time let's change the uh, how fast we can fly just click on here and you will find this one speed and let's use the car yeah drive like a car and now you can see we can uh, we can move most faster now you can see our building here my PC working like on the 100% actually I'm using now uh, laptop so laptop as you know not so powerful and I wanna I simulate the situation when you are a student and you don't have really uh, a really powerful machine so here you can see the statistic to open the statistic just open uh, this small button here and click on this one and you will see the statistic of uh, how it's working now on your PC as you can see my CPU GPU working on 100% so <laughs> it's taking it taking uh, as much as he can so and I will change actually the my graphics because I want to work comfortable now as you can see it's sometimes FPS so low let's change our graphic how we can change it go to the edit find here the preferences and we will go to the quality the quality it's only about how it will be uh, in your viewport not like uh, how you will get after the render no it's only about the viewport I will change to the medium because I'm using the laptop now let's change to the medium and let's see what we'll get just give it a few seconds now he will check it out how it's working and as you will see it will be more better than before uh, so it's slightly better but not for the hundred percent anyway now I can see the green uh, uh, green color more um, often okay so we and as you can see my PC now not using uh, fans so much so you can hear it I think okay so let's back to the twin motion model as you can see here is my building uh, without any material uh, twin motion automatically has replied the glasses as you can see here is the glass and here is the fault materials he did it automatically and what we're gonna do actually I wanna change right now the colors I mean the materials and let's see what we what we will have now here we have the materials also you will find by this small button here just click on it and you will find here the materials let's go to the materials and actually i wanna use the bricks let's find the bricks here here is the bricks and let's use some of the bricks um, first you can of course drag and drop to the material like this you can do that as you can see it's working i just hold your left key on the mouse and you will see uh, twin motion automatically uh, reply material for all of the material uh, for all of the family who using the default materials so this is terrible this is terrible and what we're gonna do uh, you have two ways we can apply it here in twin motion or we will change something in the Revit so I will choose the second way I will change into in Revit because we cannot uh, use only default materials this is not right we are wanna do everything we are wanna do everything right so I will choose this wall and I will go to the edit type I will go to the edit type I will change it for, as you can see this by category let's go inside to the this by the category and let's apply some new material as you can see here is uh, using actually air openings so this is not right I will create the new material let's create the new material I will call it brick I will show you how it's working let's call it brick like this okay and let's change the uh, type of the material here by Autodesk and I'll use the brick same here let's find some brick 
maybe this one I don't that doesn't matter which one we will use right now so let's use this one even this one why not okay so let's apply it let's apply it and let's see what we will get just give give a second uh, because we are regenerating now graphics and I'll change ah as you can see we change the materials this part this perfect okay let's go back to the twin motion let's try it back as you can see it's applying to all the walls okay and even for the floors so this is this is wrong go back to the Revit and now we need again C in twin motion just click on it and now uh, Revit will send data again to the twin motion but it will be more faster because we already have the model there and uh, Revit and twin motion just updating some data like a texture so we did it as you can see we cannot see any texture right now but we change we have to change the color as you can see if I will now apply my brick on this wall you can see now we don't have any bricks on the floor right now and for the other things what not the wall and as you can see it's here even because uh, I think uh, this one is also using the uh, air I mean default material and you can change one by one materials to get perfect result so uh, as you understand uh, in Revit you should have the also different materials I will change now all materials and I'll back and we will continue so I am back and as you can see here is model with all texture as you can see and also I put some the trees because I want to show you how it's working okay uh, I already did the C in twin motion so it's just updating my model let's go back to the twin motion and let's see what we get as you can see now Revit after oh I mean twin motion automatically applying the mod material the, here the glass here the some materials as you can see it's different materials and replaced the RPC uh, traces to the 3D traces so this is perfect and we can work it now with the uh, this model just one thing if you want to change for example some materials what you can do you have few ways you can again open the material you can use some material and just apply on some geometry or you have the other way you can use for example the material picker and pick for example for this structure as you can see blue straight pick on it and you will see here no material as you can see not any material if you will pick ways we have already materials like here you will see the material you will see the color reflection and all the function don't forget it's not all the function you have the settings you have the more as you can see if I will click more you will see more settings so this is twin motion it's more useful uh, and more user-friendly because now he is showing you only and um, some important um, important settings if you want to go too deep you should always use the more and you can see here is default material for example I want to change it my, to the some concrete let's use the concrete and let's say this is, will be like um, I don't know maybe let's say this one and you can just drag and drop to here just drag and drop and you will see it changing automatically and if I will go more close uh, you will see it's actually not right size scaling right so let's change the scale here to the one enter no one it's not enough let's say 10 10 it's too much I think it will be 5 or 2 so let's leave it on 2 and as you can see I am easily changing here the scaling if I wanna go to the more scaling you can change even for the X or Y uh, direction or even rotate or I can make animate material yes we can animate materials here for example let's do that like this and you will see and uh, now our material is animating cool future maybe you will find uh, some way where you can use it uh, okay so let's make it zero and let's go to back if you want to go back you just go, go from the scale to the bare concrete okay and here you can use apply for example weather for example if you have the snow outside it will be applied on your material if you don't want to apply some uh, weather on your material just click on off here under the settings you will get like metalness uh, like bamp glow sound even the sound you can make for example now sound is concrete but we can change for example to the water or, to, or wood if you want 
Okay, uh, here the some some simple uh, things, uh, some simple also the things. Uh, we will talk about the materials later on in the next tutorial. Now you understand how you can export your model. Try on it. Uh, don't forget if you have the questions, uh, leave below this video. We will talk about it. If you wanna get this model, you can go to below this video. You will find their links. Uh, don't forget share, like this video, and like this. I will understand you want more tutorials by, by Twin Motion. I will go just step by step. I know I know wanna rush. I wanna cover all topics. So thank you guys for watching, and see you next time. To support my channel, you can go to Gumroad. Check that my store. There you can find a bottle of this dynamo scripts or you can buy two-story complete house or even the two-story residential classic house. By this way you supporting my channel and you making me happy to creating the new videos for you guys. And that's it from today, thank you guys for watching, don't forget to subscribe my social media, leave some comments for this video and give some like and see you next time.